Hey, all you fellow Toon Squad people here, this is Jen Mask. Sorry. So, today's the day. It's not Monday, but I'm on Thanksgiving break. Thank gosh. And my creator has to get a wisdom teeth on December 28th pool. Sorry if my hair looks a little bad because I just got out of a shower. Just by that, I'm so nervous. But, big thing to pick. It says fragile on it. A lot. You probably know what it is. <laughs> if you haven't been basically looking under a lot, so you don't know what it is. But let's open up this bad boy, shall we? So we're here at the crib where we have this little beauty. And we're gonna be unboxing today. So this wasn't actually supposed to come until Monday. But I actually decided to come today, so thank you! Oh, you can push this gift anyway, but besides, I want things to break, why not? So, enough of me chit chatting, let's get into this, shall we? one of the old classic things of my liking. And we somewhat got in the box. Somewhat. There's like tape galore on it. Oh my goodness. You guys are not gonna believe what. <laughs> I'm sorry, just give you a few minutes. You guys don't know how much this will actually mean to me because I'm like timeless. The real queen of me is age 18. That's why she has to get a wisdom tooth removed. But this is a big surprise for me, especially. You may see it's in bubble wrap. You may see these things in here. I'll show you why in a second. Move this box aside. Let's get this little buddy. Unwrapped. I'm actually fangirling right now. Yes! Oh my gosh! It's big! It's really big! Not that kind of big! But oh my gosh! It has a hat and all! Yay! So if you guys don't understand, this is Haven. It's Ernest, a talking doll. By the way, I got on Amazon for like really cheap, and it has the hat. A lot of them are missing the hats, which is really sad. But it has a pull string in the back here. See that? A pull string. So you know where this is going. So 
I know I'm a girl. And girls are like being a certain age with dolls. But come on! I actually want to try this out. So let me actually adjust a few things so that we can try out old Ernest here. So if you don't understand who Ernest is, he is a living commercial legend. A legend himself, actually. He started in the late 1980s, known as Ernest P. Well, with the, like, the world chime and portrayed by the one and only late Jim Varney. Rest in peace, man. He died from cancer, with lung cancer. He was coughing up blood. It was just so graphic and sad. So I'm actually happy I have this. So it says, Hey Vern, it's Ernest. With Jim Varney's big face on it. <laughs> Boy, you do it. I don't know. I don't know, I just like it. And it says, Hey Vern, I talk. Which is actually something you see in like Pee Wee's version of a doll and Steve Urkel version of a doll. Make sure you do check them out because they are actually really cool. So, it's, oh. I just had a small flashback. <laughs> it says, I love you in big words. I'm like, thank you. <laughs> and it says, are you kidding me? With each pull of Ernest the string, you'll hear one of his six favorite sayings. Obviously, it might say, hey, then, most likely. No, I mean, Vern. No, I mean. Yes, Ernest, I do know what you mean. But, do you know what I mean? <laughs> I swear, I'm good like this a lot. And it says, Hey, Vern, it's Ernest. Hey, Vern, it's Ernest. It's your buddy, Ernest. Ernest P. Well, the star of his very own Saturday morning TV show. Yes, Hey, Vern, it's Ernest. It's really, really good. It only went on for one season though, which is sad. Wish it made like more seasons. But fun fact, they were actually going to make two other Ernest movies. There were like nine movies in all, but I'm going to include Dr. Iron and Will as a gloom bean as like the tenth one. Me, if Gavin. Hey, Vern, it's Ernest. In two movies, Ernest goes to camp and Ernest saves Christmas. I am going to watch the Saves Christmas one starting this week on repeat, 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 repeat. <laughs> I'm also going to watch it during Christmas as well. It'll be a real treat. Plus, my creator will be in bed doing nothing and miss school, so she'll probably watch Ernest Saves Christmas as well. But, that's a video waiting for another day. I might do a reaction to that. Stay tuned. So it says, Now comes home to you. Lots of laughs and loads of fun. You and Nurse will always have a great time together. Yes, a great time together. Unfortunately, he died the year before I was born. What a bummer. Which really sucked, because I really wanted to meet this guy, Jim Barney, and see how much he could do with many, oh, loads of other characters. You may not know Jim Varney as this character, but he was actually the voice of Slinky Dog from Toy Story 1 and 2. I suggest you do watch the movies again. You'll enjoy it. Hey, I found your hat, Woody. Hey, Vern, pull my string. I talk. <laughs> of course you do. Parents, please remove and discard all plastic fasteners and these before giving top toy to child. Toy to child. In what sense do I look like I'm a child? Maybe I'm a fan girl, but other uh, words. And Haven, it's Ernest. Hmm. Classic. Haven, it's Ernest. The talking figure. Are we having fun or what? Maybe, but I will put you in the video later. <laughs> yeah, the classic. Yeah. So let's open this bad boy and see what our good old buddy Ernest has to say to us. And I'm in for a love laugh. So let's get into it. So I actually got the box open, but the taste <laughs> ruined it. 
mm, I'm going to be so mad at that point. But we have to release Jim from his old prison. And oh my. First word. <laughs> I'll do an instant replay for you. So he's in his prison. He's stuck in the blue thing. Oh my gosh. And it's, I don't want to see you wearing that necktie. Oh my. He's dusty. <laughs> really dusty. Oh, with a little polish work from the old Toon Queen Jet Mask, I'm sure we can work things out. So his first word was "ew." <laughs> I'll put a clip of him saying that. Ew. I'm sure that's gonna happen a lot when I say say this. So it's like I'm raising someone from the grave, which I don't want to, which is sad. Buddy, don't talk, okay? About to do a little surgery. Stay calm, bird. Okay, don't talk. It's like I'm, it's like I'm holding a baby. Quite sleep. It's gonna take a while tonight, so. Uh, Ernest, if you say one word, I'm going to be so happy. Oh, that's why. It's a zip tie. That's why it's hard to get. I need, like, one of those pliers that Ernest has. Get. Goes to school. That's the other one. Goes to school. That's another one I love. I can't get this for a second thing open. How about I actually cut to when I get this thing open, okay? So I don't have to waste my time doing this, okay? You little bugger. You are in top loaded condition. Oh my. How can I? Ah, I can't get this off. Oh. Don't want the scissors to broken. Luckily enough, my dad is was a mechanic, so he has these to use. Thank you, Dad! But hopefully it'll help gain this little guy out. He's not... Buddy, don't start talking, please. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> it's not gonna work. I can already tell it's not gonna work. Because... <clears throat> I've got to bend the box. <laughs> it's so hard to get out! I don't want to ruin it though! But I want to use it! <laughs> I'm gonna be so mad if I can't get this little guy out of my box! Good thing you weren't talking though. Kenna, you really have to fix this. <laughs> it's like I'm choking him to death. I don't want to choke him. I don't want to choke my buddy. My buddy is my best friend. I don't want to choke the boy guy to death. It's a zip tie. It's a zip tie. That's what it is. It's a zip tie. It's like you're choking the poor guy, which is sad. Gently, I have to move the zip tie. Because people like him shouldn't deserve something like this. I feel like I'm talking in like an awkward position, or every time I'm moving out of frame, I'm like, mm -hmm. but no, 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 this is gonna be very awkward. And oh my gosh, Kendall, why'd you make a toy that's so hard to get out of? Seriously, seriously, I can't get this thing out. <laughs> I don't want to move the paint. I don't want to move the hair. I don't want to even do anything bad to it. I just want to take it out and use it. That's all. You know what? 
I'm about to use a screwdriver, pry it open, and use my scissors the best I can, or the pliers the best I can, to get this little guy open. Because I don't want to hurt the guy. I really don't. It feels like I'm choking him to death, which I don't want to. I have to move this a little zip tie to the back. You guys having fun today? I know I am. This is like almost a nightmare, to be honest. This is a nightmare, to be honest. It's a nightmare. A nightmare, I tell you. A nightmare. So it's gonna hurt me, but then it's gonna hurt you. I'm really glad to figure out how you get a zip tie open on a toy. <sighs> the struggles of being a average YouTuber are really high. <laughs> These pliers are not helping. Yeah. Let me actually try to get the zip tie open. Oh boy. I did it! <laughs> I used scissors really hard and cut it off finally. Now bud don't talk because that took me almost an hour to do. Literally. So he's released from his prison. And I give you the one and only NSP well. Oh my gosh. His hat is a little messed up. What just tape on you, because the hat is staying on. He's so dirty, though. I might have to get, like, a small comb to clean this guy off. But, yes. We have him, front and center, the man of the hour, Ernest P. Well, finally got this guy. I'm actually so happy. And, let me actually tell you a few things. Oh, he's so dirty. I'm about to clean it, bud. I'm glad to clean this guy. You may notice that his hat is completely detachable. And there's like a thing inside. But yeah, I'm glad to clean ya. He has the hair of Mr. Nash from uh, Ernest Goes to Jail. But anyway, I do like it though. I like it. He has a happy grin. <laughs> and those blue eyes. And he kind of looks like me a bit. <laughs> to be honest, yes. But the main focus of the guy here is the man of the hour. We have to pull his string back here. Now, this may sound a little bit off, but I'm gonna try my first time using a pull string on my good old Bernie Ernest here. I love you. No way! <laughs> All that stuff I said about you, and you turn around and say you love me. Unbelievable. <laughs> I knew you would turn your senses and say you love me. <laughs> I love you too, bud. I love you too. <laughs> but that was actually one of his phrases saying I love you. Now let's actually get a good closer look of Ernest. See, he has his usual blue vest on with his pants here being so colorful. I actually do like the pants though, they're really colorful. Then he also has his boots here, which he does not wear boots, he wears shoes that are like bands that you just slide on and use. But I'm okay with it. He has a shirt here that says Ernest. He never wears a shirt that said Ernest, he wears a gray shirt. Either long or short. In most of his movies, he wore just a short sleeve shirt and the TV show and commercials. He did short sleeve shirt, but sometimes in other commercials and movies, and sometimes I think in Hey Burn It's Ernest, he does wear long sleeves a lot. Sometimes with a button up here and the collar. But I have a thing, an actual outfit that I'm gonna make for this little guy for around the holidays. 
especially for Christmas, because in one of his commercials, he has a Santa hat on and a scarf. Ho, 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 Vern. It's me, Ernest, Sandy's little party helper. And look what I brought you, some chips and party dips and everything. Merry Christmas, you know, Vern, it's that time of year Hi, when Vern. people get together to celebrate with their friends and have a good time. And hey, look, Vern. There's Ken and Craig and Jerry. It looks like the whole Channel 40, Channel 29, Zoom Center team is here behind the stage. Hey, listen, Vern, if you need any more chips or anything, I'm right next door. It's no trouble at all. Just give me a call. Merry Christmas, Vern. Vernon! Vernon! Open the door, Vern! Happy New Year, Vernon! Because I'm actually going to replicate that. And I'm going to make him wear a small red scarf here with a Santa hat on it. It'll look so cute, in my opinion. But first, I'm going to have to clean this guy off. Because it looks like that he started to grow a beard. Even though, in Dr. Otto, he actually has a goatee, which is really good. <laughs> but anyway, he has arms that are movable. <laughs> He's like pointing somewhere. He's like pointing like, hey, taxi. It's because I'm green, isn't it? Yeah. But he has his arms here. They look so muscular. Look how muscular they are. To be honest, Ernest never had muscular arms. He had like arms like mine that are just normal arms. But he is movable. You have to be careful because he, he is really old. I think he's like 70, if I'm correct. If I'm relating to his age. There is an Ernest Day thing too in Tennessee, which is really cool. Which I do want to go to. And I do plan on next Halloween dressing up as my version of Dr. Otto, just the female version, which you guys will be able to see a drawing in a few minutes because I have the full body plan of her. She looks really good. Let's get into it more. So, as I said, he's wearing his shirt. He's happy. He's grinning. He just said, I love you if you are just joining now. He just said, I love you. He said, ew. And I'll put another quote on that. It'll be really good. So let's pull the string again and see what he says next. Are we having fun or what? Yes, we are having fun, dear my friend Ernest. We are having fun because I'm making the video because YouTube doesn't want to be a mean person to me. Just hope YouTube, YouTube, I'm gonna keep my calm for you because I'm in a happy mood today, okay? So, yeah, we're having fun, Ernest. You have anything else you want to say? Oh, you're telling me? Yeah, I do know you're Ernest. Well, to answer your questions, to be honest, I love this guy, to be honest. His hat does need to be fixed, and he does need to be cleaned, which I'm going to use, and my phone just went off. It's Twitter. Make sure you guys do follow me on Twitter, by the way, and my other social medias. It'll be really cool. And my Instagram. I'll post this guy like crazy on my Instagram. I'll be... I don't know doing a thing on YouTube where he's sitting and he'll be like the elf on the shelf thing when he's like pointing to the viewer <laughs> like so but that'll be in the future video hopefully when I still have my YouTube videos still on my YouTube channel and hopefully this YouTube thing gets straightened out because I don't want to lose my videos this is pretty much the only place I want to do my videos for fun and I hope YouTube does get their things straightened out, literally. But he has other characters too. He has Dr. Otto, Mr. Nash, Asta Clement, Aunt Nelda, Bunny, Koi, Slinky Dog, Beverly Hillbillies, he did. There's um the baby Ernest, which is really cute. And I do like it. Then there's a brief appearance of Dr. Arnold and Little Gloom Beam where he's a baby because I did react to Dr. Arnold and Little Gloom Beam. It was really good. I do plan on doing the thing with Saves Christmas and then next year maybe. Scared stupid. Most likely I will. But is there anything else you have to say, my friend Ernest, before I add you to my other 
collection of toys, watching my colony of friends. How are you kidding me? No, I'm not kidding, unfortunately. YouTube wants to be that way. So, is there anything else besides you saying those other phrases? You want to say anything else about the YouTube standards or anything else about how seeing paper is a bust and I don't like it? Or your thoughts on anything else <laughs> on this little guy? But anything else you want to say, please say it, bud. No one leave No one leave I do know what you mean. I know what you mean. Well, as I said before, this is Ernest, the talking Ernest doll. Oh my. <laughs> I just realized how flimsy he is. If I sit him without pressure, his legs will actually start to bend. But that's Ernest. You can't see him in full frame. <laughs> there you go. Now you can see him in full frame. But he looks really cool in my opinion. I'll actually use this in like my videos, later videos, and then most likely during when my career gets her wisdom teeth removed, she'll actually have this for a living. This guy is amazing. If you do sometimes catch him seeing doing that, he'll be like, yeah, I'm watching you. Or sometimes he'll move a look closer because in the Ernest movies he does want a girl, but I do kind of like this guy, really. He's really amazing. Rest in peace, Jim Barney. If we still had you, I would have watched the other Ernest movies that were coming out. There was gonna be one about Ernest goes to space. That would have been cool. And Ernest and the Voodoo Curse, which I don't know anything about. So, yeah, that's Ernest, everybody. <laughs> I'm actually so happy that I got this guy. Literally. My heart is pounding. And mm mm mm. I kind of figured that he would come today. So, from both of us, me and Ernest, together forever. And then I'll actually show a clip of me putting him in my collection. Another relaxing day in the life of the Toon Queen Gen Mask universe. You do say that, right? Yeah, totally. Yeah, man, I mean, I got put on the bow tie. I mean, I like it. I love this life with Jenny. I mean, she's like amazing. I know, she's amazing. Agreed, she took me in as first bait. No, she took me in as first bait. Nuh uh, I'm sure it was me. No, it was me. No, you all are wrong. These are my butters. She took me in as first bait. And she got baby as well. Including fun type Foxy here that just fell over. Ah! Ow! You all are so wrong. She knows it's me. Nah, -uh. she knows it's me. Not even me. She knows it's me. No, it's me. I was the one. No, it's all of us. You know, it's all of us. No, 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 no. No, it's all of us. No, it's me. No, no, it's me. No, it's me. Hey, 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 bud. Calm down. The real one she thinks is me. Ernest P. Well, at your service. And yes, I'm talking to you, mirrors. But, hey, Vern, it's me, Ernest. But, but take a look at that poster up there. That's amazing. Oh, you mean that poster? She is amazing. She's an artist. Well, she's an artist, alright. She drew me first hand. Yeah, I saw. She did draw you first hand. She was pretty amazing at what she did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She is amazing. And I love her for it. Truly love her for it. Yeah, but she knows it's me. Nuh-uh. I'm like her biggest fan. She knows it, but she knows that everyone else likes it too, including all of you guys. Yeah, I guess we do like her. Yeah, agreed. She is like one of the best people out there. Yeah, she's so nice to us, she treats us with respect. That's what I mean. She is amazing. 
So, what should we do? I can't hear you. Toon Queen Jun Mask, I still can't hear you. How to Queen Jun Mask? That's right. We should treat her with respect and hail her as a queen. Ah, a relaxing day in the middle of the Toon Queen Jun Mask universe. Ah, no, she loves me. She loves me, though, because I have her butters. No, I'm pretty sure she loves me. She loves me! No, she loves me. Me, 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 me. Everybody, stop. She loves me. She knows it. But who are you? I am Ernest P. Worrell. At your service. Know what I mean? <laughs> oh, you're that tune guy, huh? So you heard of me? Yes, we all heard of you. Yeah, agreed. She tells us everything about you. Oh, she does, does she? Then, I know I like you as being a person, but why did you tell everyone about me? Well, she wanted to tell everyone about it because you are amazing. Am I really? Yes, you are. Thank you. Thank you so much. It means a lot to me. <laughs> I won't hurt you ever again. Hurt me? What do you mean you don't hurt me? No, I wanted to go hurt you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, okay. Alright. So from all of us, to all of you, we have a coordination to be placed in the essentials. In that very spot, a new person will be risen to power as the new person gets placed on his seat of coordinates. Uh, Teddy Bear, you gonna have to move over. What? You're telling me to move over? I'm not gonna move over. You have to move over. No, I don't wanna move over. Please move over. Alright. <laughs> has landed. Kind of. <laughs> I hope you like your spot comfy. Very much, thank you. It's a little eh, so to speak. Terrible. Ouch! Azriel, this is why you shouldn't be on the backboard because you always fall off. I know, but help me! <laughs> How's that for a good amount of space? Suits me well. I can sit down, lay down, chillax, and even look at my tune queen. So here's my finished drawing of her. I actually do truly like it. <laughs> She's like wearing a one piece with high heels and she has a robe on and a hand coming out of her head up here. You guys can kind of see it. Her hair is like spazzed out. She has a crown on. She is basically known as the uh, girl version of Dr. Otto. <laughs> I'm sorry. I really can't. I actually do really like her to be honest. She looks really awesome. And yeah, she has a walking stick. Like Guy Dandy from the movie Dr. Hanuel the Gloomby, which I do have like a big crush on again. And yeah, that's the video for today. <laughs> I'm sorry, this may take a while. So, this is gonna take a while. That's the video for today. I'm actually so happy I got this guy today. So, applause on that. So, thank you all for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. I'll show you out in the next video if you want me to show you out. And I am working on the Q&A, so you better get those questions ready. Because I do plan to do the video on New Year's Eve, if that's any closer. And, yeah. Until next time, yeah. See y'all later. And stay smoking.